Okay, so far on our little click to reveal game, we've set up a title slide, uh, which you can do if you are doing a standalone game. If this is part of another presentation, you might not want this. We've got an instruction slide, and you can kind of gauge whether or not you feel you need that based on the age of your audience. And then we've started the game. So we've hidden a picture back behind these rectangles. We've given a clue to what's hidden back there. And we've created this action button that'll take us to the next clue and reveal part of the picture. All right, so we're here on the second slide. We've got our second clue. We've got our second action button. So remember to do this. We click on our rectangle and we go to insert action and hyperlink it to the next slide. And we click OK. Now, coming over to my slide sorter, I'm going to copy this slide, click below, and paste it so I've got another version of it, just like we did before. Now on this version of it, again, I'm going to take off the bottom, and then I'm going to put click here on the top rectangle, and I'm going to turn that rectangle into a button by going to insert, action, and saying hyperlink to next slide. Now I've got to also remember to change my clue on this slide. So I'm going to make this one surprisingly I am not poisonous. And exclamation marks because they're fun. All right, so that's my third clue. And now I'm going to go ahead and once again, copy my slide, come down here, paste it. This version, I'm gonna take off the top rectangle and I'm gonna reveal the answer. I am a red-eyed tree frog. Okay, so going over the steps again. For this standalone game, I created a title slide. I created an instruction slide. Then we started in on the actual game. I give clue number one, and I make the bottom button an action button. That behind these rectangles, I've got a picture, okay? So I'm hiding that right now. Copy the slide, go to slide two, delete off the bottom rectangle, make the second rectangle a button to go to the next slide, and give my second clue. Copy that slide, take off the second rectangle, make the top rectangle a button, give my third clue. And then on the last slide, I reveal the picture and the answer both there. Now I could go on, put new animals, uh, different things in here, continue the game if I so chose, um, maybe put a little button in here to navigate to that. But I'll take you into slideshow view now and show you how this works. So who am I? Creatures of the Rainforest. Instructions, read the clue. Um, I could change my navigation here and just use buttons or use links to navigate. So keep that in mind too if you're doing a presentation for kids that you might not want them to be able to click out here in the white space. There are other tutorials that I've created on that so I'm not gonna spend the time here. All right, so I stick myself to the bottoms of leaves while I sleep. Who am I? Oh, I don't know who that is. Okay, click here. Oh, look, he's got little webbed feet. Okay, I flash my red eyes and orange feet. Red eyes, red eyes. Oh, I wonder if it's a red-eyed tree frog. Let's see. Surprisingly, he's not poisonous. Yep, I bet it is. Yay, I was right. All right, so that's how you create a very, very simple click to reveal game using PowerPoint.